Hiya. Hello. Welcome to GGKCS, the multi-generational podcast slash floss tube for fans of all things knitting, cross-stitch, and geeky. I'm Cece. I'm Dammy. We're glad to have you today. Today is Thursday, the 20th of August, 2020, and this is episode 409. We'd like to say a big welcome back. We love you guys. To all our returning viewers and a big hiya to any new viewers. Thanks for giving us a shot. We hope you enjoy the show. Um... I shall give an update on the great Instagram blocking of 2020. Um, so, I have three accounts on Instagram that I primarily use. A public one, a private one, and Pink Pearl's account. I was blocked for six days the first time, unblocked for 12 hours, and now I've been blocked again for... Uh, this is day eight. Uh, however, knock on wood, for some dang, I almost said a curse word. They have unblocked my private account, but not the other two accounts. Um, I had a couple people suggest that I try to reach out to them on Twitter. Mm -hmm. So I have done that three times and had no response. We still don't know why I'm blocked because they felt like it, apparently. So, um, yeah, thanks to everybody who is reporting it, and I continue to report it every single day from all the accounts and ask them to unblock me, and that's all I can do. Um, I'm pretty frustrated about it, but I am glad that one of the accounts is unblocked so that I can utilize it some, so. Um, I'm just being very careful about how many things I like, how quickly, and things like that to try to protect. So, fun times. Um, what else has gone on this week? It has been so hot, mm -hmm. which it's not hot comparative to what we dealt with in Texas, but air conditioning is not the norm up here. So that's the problem. Pink Pearl is doing something who knows what. Um, how much school do you have left? Four days? What is today? Today is Thursday. I have an exam that I can only take on Tuesday, so five days. No, Thursday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday. I work on stuff over the weekend. Oh, I meant actual, like, class days. There, there aren't class days. Okay. By this time next week when we record, you will be done. With these dadgum science classes. Um, that's about life, right? Mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. I'm so sorry, what? The mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Okay, I thought you just said something political. I thought you said my country something something. And that's my why I was like, what? My country ain't tis of thee. Okay, well, we have quite a bit of things to show you uh, today and talk about. I finished a huge cross-stitch project. And, yeah, so we probably should get started. Oh, if you have not joined our Facebook group yet, you should do that. Facebook.com slash groups slash GGKCS. You need to answer both questions. Pink Pearl is our cat. CC is the mama, and you need to scroll to the bottom of the rules and hit agree. Yes. Oh, that's the other thing I was going to say that just popped in my head is um, we the reason we moved to Facebook, if you're new here, is because of the debacle of uh, Ravelry and the inaccessibility um, that continues now for over two months. It's been two months, I think. Um, I am in the process of moving all of our knitting patterns um, over to PayHip and Etsy, and I have worked my butt off this week, and I've moved Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, I moved 17 patterns over, plus I reformatted one pattern out of a handful, a little over half a dozen, that need to be reformatted into our newer formats, so I've been busy. Thanks for your patience, thanks to everybody who's offered to help, there's nothing really you can do, it's not difficult, it's just time consuming. So... I have had lots of less crafting time because I've been working a lot on that. So, okay. JavaPearlDesigns.com is where you can find all the links. 
and I'm updating it there as I move the patterns. So, okay, now let's get started. Now we're going to talk about what's on our needles. Cause Dammy's knitting again. Uh, yeah, um, so I'm still working on these baby socks. This is my pattern, baby chino socks. I don't know if it's up on Etsy yet. But... It's not yet, but I believe. It'll be, in, it'll be up soon. It'll be up soon. I'm hoping by the beginning of the next week. Um, the next batch that I have to move is the White Christmas ones and that ebook. Because I'm going from oldest to newest, other than the ones that need to be reformatted. Okay, go. Um, so I'm using the wrong size needles, but it's okay because I say it is. Um, I'm using US 4s, 3.5 millimeter needles. And this is Bernay Softy Baby in the Prince Pebbles colorway. I'm still not finished with the first sock, and I just discovered that uh, my friend had her baby on the 8th. And I, I said I would have them finished before I go to school. So I need to finish this pair of socks because I have another smaller pair of socks as well as a hat to get to her. Um, but school will be done on Tuesday and then you'll have free time again for a little while before autumn begins. Okay. Would you like to say anything else about no. this? Okay. I am continuing to work on in my, um, beautiful project bag from Nerdbird Bakery, um, a pair of surprise socks for my friend Rebecca. Um, I'm using my French Vanilla Cappuccino sock pattern that is available on JavaPearlDesigns.com. Um, I'm linking, when it's our patterns, I'm linking to where on um, our website they can be found. Okay. So, um, I'm on US one and a half, two and a half mil needles. The yarn is Pandia's Jewels, hand dyed yarn, super sparkle in the electric pink colorway. It was a sock blank, which is why it's all, but I wound it so that I could do the first sock from light to darker and the second sock from the inside going from darker to light. Um, the uh, Progress Keeper, which is on this side, is uh, Pink Stars and a Globe from Tilting Planet. Um, I have... about 20 more rows in the ribbing to finish on this mm -hmm. and then i'm going to use the leftover yarn to knit a pair of tube socks for rebecca's daughter lou whose birthday i think is this next week and that just happened that way i wasn't planning to do them for a birthday gift but um but those will have to be done magic loop instead of on my Haya Haya sharps nine inch circulars which i call zoom zoom needles because you zoom zoom around the circles um because the circumference will not be uh, enough to uh, go around these. Um, I haven't gotten as much progress on these because in my project bag, my kitty project bag from Lizzie Bags, um, I've been knitting up my uh, design that's going to be released along with its sister pattern, which is a pair of socks that I'm not showing you the pattern yet. Um, in October and it's going to be called the I'll have two coffees and two cherry danishes to go please cowl on US 2 2.75 mil needles and I'm using Pandia's jewels floofy in the Miss Woodhouse please advise colorway I'm over halfway done with the cowl um, I am using another uh, progress keeper from tilting planet it's just it's the same as the one I just showed you except for it's multicolored stars um, I'm over halfway done with this and um, my test knitters are now test knitting it. Um, because it's a um, cowl with a provisional cast on and then just the same stitch pattern and then graft it together. Once I made sure that I was pleased with the width of it and um, that I was going to have enough yarn to make it be uh, the circumference that I want, um, then I was able to go ahead and send it to my test knitters. Um, and, uh, I had a, I, I was like thinking about, um, photo shoot for this the other day. I don't think I told you. I, I think I probably was thinking about it in the shower because that's where I tend to have all of my best thoughts. 
Um, I'm so tempted to buy. There is a um, waterproof notepad that you can put in your shower. Um, I was at first I was like, oh, I should get some like fake cherry blossoms because the the sock pattern, uh, the colorway is is called cherry blossom. But then I was like, no, I'm calling this. I'll have two coffees and two cherry danishes to go, please. Socks and cowl. I'm going to have to get two coffees and two cherry danishes and do a photo shoot. Hmm. So I'm hoping to finish it um, before Dammy goes back to school so you can help me photo shoot it. Uh -huh. So um, I'm trying to do um, four pattern repeats every day. Um and thankfully it's simple enough that I can read while I'm doing it. Um, because I'll, and I'll talk about the book in, um, in what we're reading, but what I'm reading, but, um, I'm, it's a nonfiction book, but I'm wanting to finish it, uh, by tomorrow because I have an appointment to pick up hold books at the library tomorrow. And one of those is a nonfiction book that I want to dive into pretty quickly as well as, I don't think I've talked about it on here yet, but I have joined a book club. Um, it's a LGBT uh, faith book club for people of the LGBT community as well as allies. Um, and it's closed now um, for the next six months, um, but that book will be starting, the first book will be starting September 1st. So, um, yeah. So I've been reading and knitting on the um, design while I'm reading. So, all right. Well, I think we're ready to move on to the next segment. Now we're going to talk about her finished project. Here is this week's preemie hat. This is number 33 for the year. It's from my free top-down preemie hat pattern that you can get on our website, javapearldesigns.com. Um, I did this on US 6's 4 mil needles. Oh, the baby's so cute. Um, and the yarn is uh, Knit Picks Wool of the Andes Worsted in the Tranquil colorway and Lion Brand Heartland in the Glacier Bay colorway. I used up all of the Tranquil. That's the reason it has uh, the Glacier Bay as the bind off, which is fine. I like it like that too. I do, I sometimes purposely do that. So the Tranquil is a little brighter than it's showing that really washes it out so um yep number 33 for the year and that's the only knitting i finished this week hopefully i'll have a pair of socks finished for next week yeah. so okay let's move on to the next segment and now it's time for floss tube you have anything to me i haven't worked on my crust it's because well you've got your you're trying to get these socks knit so, okay, well, let me tell you what I've worked on this week. First up in my uh, project bag by Tilting Planet, um, I am doing the Baba Black Sheep uh, pattern by the Prairie Schooler. Uh, the pattern actually came on a business card size, but it was too small. I couldn't read it, so I blew it up. Um, this was a gift from Michelle uh, Bidney Stitchy. And... I totally changed the colors because I wanted to stitch it on this gorgeous pink 18 count Ada fabric that was dyed by Erin the two martini stitcher and so I also changed the colors um, I finished the first bag of wool L. I, I just need to fill in the L with the right color then this bag is bigger because it has both O's on it so, but I'm only stitching on this during my Stitch With Me uh, episodes that release on Mondays. The pink is a whole lot brighter. It's looking really washed out there. Yeah, so it's brighter. So, uh, making progress on that on Mondays. I have an FOU, guys. And it took me a year to do it. I uh, started in it in mid-August 2019. Time is real. So this is uh, my Christmas list, my Silver Creek samplers, done on a 28 count Ada with called for colors, except for baby Jesus's face, I used a brown because Jesus was not white. Um, I'm gonna put up an image on the screen of it so you can see it all in one fell swoop, if you wanna see what it looks like. 
So I am really, really happy to be finished with this. And I do have the piece that I'm going to finish this on. Um, I just will need to do it. So I did um, Christmas Morn was the last bit of it. And Baby Jesus and I think the heart and the star were already done. So that is a big one off my plate. My goal was to finish it by the 22nd of August, and I did. So, um, so I started a new project. Um, it's in my project bag from the 805 Stitcher. Um, and I am using a snippety um, from Caddy Cross Stitches. Um, it's Star Wars. Uh, the, this one, and it's... Um, you, your floss sticks on it and it's got a magnet under there. I use snippeties on all of my projects. Um, so this, let me show you. I don't know where I ran across this, but I ran across this beautiful embroidery piece that says, one day I will be so loud about who I am that I will forget what being quiet out of fear felt like. And I shared it with my friend, Julia Giazzi. Um, she and I are accountability partners for getting our steps in every day. And she um, charted it for me um, using uh, sunflowers instead of um, the purple flowers on here. Oh, she, I didn't know they were supposed to be sunflowers. Yeah. They're, the ones that I haven't stitched yet are more obvious sunflowers. Okay. If I knew they were sunflowers, I would to a different yellow because I was like oh they're buttercups oh no I think it's fine <laughs> I like it so I'm doing this on a 20 count gray Ada fabric um, and I chose different colors because I wanted it to be dammy and I did a, a color a, a floss toss so there's these flowers up here and then I've, I've obviously one day I will be so loud one day uh, I will be so loud um, and then when I, down here at the bottom, there will be more flowers. Um, so did you do all that yesterday? No, the first day I worked on it, I did all three flowers and one day. And then yesterday I did, I will be so loud, but this is going to stitch up pretty quickly. I, I'm not showing you the pattern because it's actually the chart that, that Julia made for me. So, um, that is the, I, I um, told Dammy that I wanted to get this done really quick because I want to be able to finish it and display it. I think I'm probably going to do it in a hoop um, and maybe get a, sun, a flower, an actual sunflower to put on it to like decorate it. Mm -hmm. So there is that. And then finally in my project bag from Knit Run Dig, um, this is, I'm doing, um, <laughs> let me get myself together here, you guys. Um, I am doing Edinburgh Castle by Terra Luna Stitchery. Massive full coverage piece. Um, I am using Pattern Keeper software on the Kindle Fire 7. Needle minders are by Top Knot Stitcher, Grime Guard from Crab Shack Stitchery, and Snippety from Caddy Cross Stitches. All of these are linked in the show notes. Um, so last week when I showed it to y'all, uh, on the 12th, as of the 12th, I had finished 22,100 stitches. And here is where I am today. You obviously can't see, but I did these 400 stitches and these 300 stitches. Um, so now I am at 22,800 stitches out of 265,824. I'm at 8.577% complete, four out of 60, 60, yes, 60 row pages. Um, I had, I had been trying to do 200 stitches a day and then things just got crazy and maybe once I finish my design and everything and things calm down a little bit, I can go back to um, doing 200 stitches a day. But I feel like um, I'm making good progress just getting in 100 stitches a day. So that's 700 a week and it will add up. So already, well, I think we're ready to move on to the next segment. We do have cross stitch content in Yummies. So if you're only here for cross stitch content, stick around. And now it's time for our favorite part of the show, yummies. What are yummies, Tammy? Yummies are our current favorite things, things we like, things we want to talk to you about. Yummies. What do you have, Tammy? I got some yarn in the mail. 
because my best friend Hallie wanted me to make her um, Bella's hat from Twilight, so I got this yarn. Um, it's Debbie Bliss Donegal Luxury Tweed Erin in the green and oatmeal color waves, I think. This is more forest green than like black. But, yeah. Pretty. Cool, so that's what you're gonna cast on when you finish, finish the socks? Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, if you haven't noticed, I got new glasses. How fantastically awesome are these frames? Um, I wanted glasses with blue blocker lenses because I am spending more time on the computer as of late. And Dammy and Russ have both gotten some like that. And um, so I got them from Zenny Optical. And with I had a coupon. But I have to have progressive lenses because I have old eyes. Um, but even with that and the blue blocker lenses, it was under $70 for the pair. Mm -hmm. Which is a whole lot less than at a... Uh, store and it took a little under two weeks to get them so um, I probably would have to wait that long if I got them from a store because of the progressive lenses so um, okay we got the most amazing parcel in the mail look at these stickers I'm not worth a thing before coffee yes um, and it is this would be a really pretty embroidery pattern. Mm -hmm. It is embroidery. It's um, Sashiko Quilt Square de Detail from the Textile Museum of Canada. This is from Hillary, who is Textile Lady on Instagram. And um, she wrote us a huge, huge sweet note and um, things got in the way of her sending this when she intended to send it, but um, it came at the right time. It came at on a day that I just needed it so badly, needed something positive. So um, do you want to show what you got? Because we got stuff, plus y'all got stuff. Huh, huh, huh. Um, so Hillary sent some feathers from her bird heaven and whenever I picture pick, pick her pictures it's usually ones with heaven and them so I got bur uh, feathers from heaven and then also a little knitted cupcake it's so cute so cute I got I totally like screamed when I opened these these are postcards from Green Gables I am a huge Anne of Green Gables fan. So this is actually Green Gables. Uh, this is Anne's room. Uh, this is Matthew's room. This is Marilla's room. This is Lucy Maud Montgomery's birthplace and uh, an aerial shot of Green Gables. Oh my gosh. My dream vacation to go to Prince Edward Island. And then she also sent me stickers that I'm trying to get out um, from Esby Creative on Etsy. I'm trying to cover up the coupon code. Um, so there was these adorable fall freebie ones, which you know I will use. And then there are these uh, worth the spoon. So the spoon theory uh, is something that people with chronic illness sometimes use to describe um, uh, their um, ability to do things. And some days you may only have one spoon. Um, and some days you may have 10 spoons. And some days you may have something that you're going to do even if you don't necessarily have all the spoons. So, worth the spoon, and look at these cute ones of a kitty working on a computer. Do you see the cat on the back of the computer? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's the worth the spoon. I was like, what happened to that one worth the spoon? It popped off. So, um, so there was that. And then, 
these are either prizes or for us to keep if we want to is what it says so there here's a set of buttons and another set of buttons and then these are badges and I was thinking maybe we should put because since they're about reading maybe we should put one in each of the grand prize bundles for the row okay. so we can read it speak softly and carry a big book and I read therefore I am so I think we'll do that and then there's more there's more this is a prize I think for the autumn the autumnal owl and yes it is you don't know how badly I want to keep it for myself there's this beautiful felted pouch with a pom-pom on the zipper you guys <laughs> oh, my freaking gosh I want to keep it so bad oh it is from fibers of life fair trade wares I may have to go to their website and then some mini skeins uh, this is a wool cashmere nylon yarn indulgences uh, this is a wool nylon uh, dye version merino and this one that came unwound I'll have to wind it back up is a wool silk cascade heritage silk so these will be together as a prize for the fall for the autumnal owl and then uh, this is also owl prizes for whenever we want to put them in um, or whenever we want to put it in it is it's a counted cross stitch kit from uh, from Diana Waters handmade uh, it's called Alpine flowers and it comes with the hoop needles uh, 14 count fabric and the floss and the pattern this feels winter to me so I think we should put it into the winter owl that is everything Thank you so much, Hillary, for your kindness and um, yeah, you made you made our hearts happy on a rough day. So thank you. Thank you. And then we got the Just Cross Stitch October 2020 issue in. Now, last time that the issue came out, I was like, I really there was not really much of anything in it that I was just like, oh my gosh, this one. Holy crap, there are so many things in here that I want to stitch. Um, and I was actually watching, who was I watching? Oh, Lady Robin's um, floss tube. Um, and she said that she was saying the same thing about how much she loved so many of the things in this issue. Uh, first up here is this autumn tree. Um, it's a series. By Kimberly Tyree of KST Designs. Bless you. Oh, pink sneezing again. Um, I, mm, some t day in all of my spare time, I would love to stitch the series uh, of it because it's just so beautiful. Um, I'm not going to show you everything in here. Um, this. I don't understand what it's supposed to be. It's pumpkin harvest. So it's there's pumpkins and it's in the field. Oh. But... Uh, this is by Janet Bryant Groves, but it has specialty stitches and beads. So traditional cross stitch along with Rhodes, herringbone, satin, and running stitches. And I really, really want to stitch it. It's not very big. It's only four and five eighths by three and a quarter. 57 stitches high by 40 in stitches wide. So it's fairly small. I would love to do that. This autumn owl, how cute is that? By Leslie Tear. Um, this fall bouquet is beautiful. I love autumn. If you're new here, autumn is my season. I'm so ready for pumpkin spice. Uh, that fall bouquet was by Arlene Cohen of Works by ABC. How adorable are these? Oops, it's just like sleepy owl bookmark. They sleep upside down like that. Um, by Elizabeth Spurlock of Saving Grace's Fine Needle Arts. 
um, there is um, there's an article about a Crestage journal from someone from ni- from 1888. We had to pause because the laundry went off. Pause. Oh, and it's a little yammy bring. Oh my goodness, bring mm-hmm. King Pearl. Yeti. So I bought this waterless bath stuff that we can do on. It's basically a just shampoo. But it's waterless. You don't have to it's wash it off. It's not technically waterless because it's like you can wet a washcloth and then wipe it off of them once it dries. So. But you don't have to. But pink smells so kitty ish. So we, so we have been smelling smell her. Like kitty. She's my white kitty. Well, so precious. But she wants to see the Halloween patterns. Okay, it's here we go. Time. Here we go. Halloween patterns. We have. Owl and Bats by, can you say the name there? Adokia Nikolaeva of Kunochka. Um, we have Boo to You by Lee Fisher of Stitchy Fish Designs. We have Decoration Team by Franny Ritter of Franny Ritter Designs. It says, Eek, it's the Halloween decorating team. We have... Jumping Jack by um, Charlotte Smith of Charlotte's Web Needlework. Like you pull on the thing and it makes he jumps. You guys. You guys. And we have Pick of the Patch by Belinda Carl's Nace of Blue Ribbon Designs. So cute. Oh my gosh. Um this one the cover one happy halloween by jereen jones my only hesitation is i've done one of hers before and there's so much back stitching <laughs> and this is like a full coverage piece 156 by 108 yeah look at all that back stitching is that the red mm-hmm it's not that much at least not in the top half of it no it's mainly the pumpkins and the cat and the inside the leaves. There is this cute little Halloween squared. Hal Lo. Eve. By Nancy Greenberg of Pickle Barrel Designs. Hello. Wayne is here. Why would you do that? Why did you do that? I like this it's, one. It's not the vibe. I would change the, the pumpkin to um, a brighter orange. By Susanna Lima. It's not the Halloween vibe. No, I would probably leave the Halloween off and just do the pumpkin mm. vase. It's got beads in it. Um, Jack on a Swing. Oh, she doesn't like that one. You don't like that one? I'm so sorry. Let's see who it's by. Um, it is by Linda... Medina of Medina Originals. Mm-hmm. Um, is that everything? Yep. No. No. Um, I'm not sure that one. So, there are so many things in here that I would stitch. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. That is a lot of things out in that that I would stitch. Oh my gosh. So just cross stitch, you knocked autumn out of the park. We love autumn because our birthdays are in autumn, I think is part of it. Um, okay, do we have anything <laughs> else? Pink. We should talk about Hashtag DDK Crafty Pad. Can you tell us what it is? It's a crafty photo a day. <laughs> it's a crafty photo a day challenge where you pick, where you have a prompt for each day. You uh, post a picture related to it anywhere you like, but we pick our favorites from Instagram and showcase them here and on social media when it's possible. Yes, I've started sharing them in the Facebook group too, which is fun. So, um, it's in the show notes as well. We should. We- um, show them. So August, um, 
there was a theme, there was celebration stuff because our potiversary, uh, we will be celebrating our potiversary on next week's episode. Mm -hmm. We have to get cake and there will be prizes for y'all. You have to be a member of the Facebook group to win a prize. So you should go join right now. She wants you to join. She does. Um, okay. So, and we will release September's list next week as well. Yes, we yeah. will. I'm about to put you down. I promise. So what are we about to show them, Pinky? Two, two paws, two photos from us that we liked, and five, she doesn't have five paws. Great job, everybody. It's never too late to join in. You take a look at the prompt for the day. Today's prompt is? Favorite. Favorite. You interpret it however you wish. We're very cheater-friendly on this. You take your photo. You post it on Instagram. Make sure in your caption you use hashtag GGKCraftyPad because that's how we find your photos. If you have a private account on Instagram uh, and you're participating in GG, GGK Crafty Pad, how many times can I say that? Um... You need to message Dammy, who is Dammy's Doodles, um, so that they can follow you, uh, because otherwise we can't see your photos. Uh, and then yours might get chosen. Um, we have no upcoming events because pandemic. Um, I did see that the Pacific Northwest Fall Yarn Crawl um, is, they're, they're changing it to be, I think, like a month-long thing. So that you can visit over the course of that month versus it being a like three day thing where there's lots of people in the shop um, and doing and there'll also be a I think a virtual option as well mm -hmm. so um, so that's pretty cool so we'll give you more details on that when we know all right well I think that is everything for yummies so let's move on to the next segment. to talk about what we are reading, watching, and listening to. What are you reading, Danny? I am, again, I'm kind of on a break from it, from, but kind of not in trying to read. So you want to talk about Raised by Ijeoma Aluo, and I have not stopped reading it because of any content I find within it. I'm, I've, like, been on a break from it because school. summer school is anxiety. Yeah, I'm almost done. Five more days. So... I'll be doing that and I ordered all my books for autumn quarter so I'll be reading those yes you got, just got one in the post yeah, well, I, got, yeah. I got three plays so and I'm also reading the glass scientist which is a web comic by Sabrina Katungo well I know with all that school reading you are getting 15 minutes a day in yes what am I talking about the July August September read along Wow. So this is a challenge for you to read 15 minutes a day every day. I don't care what you're reading as long as you're reading. Audiobooks do count. There's a finish line thread in our Facebook group where you post once and then you edit your comment to um, notate how much you're reading every day. Um, at minimum, you just have to say 15 minutes. You can be more specific than that. Um, 15.59 minutes. Um, well, some people like, like to list like what they're reading. Silver Luna uh does this amazing like pie chart at the end of every month that is just freaking awesome um and you earn entries into the year-long challenge by participating in the seasonal ones and then as we mentioned was that in the last segment about grand prize because they're gonna put the badges yeah. in um we will have at the beginning of 2021 we will have three grand prizes bundles that will be 
chosen uh, using random number generator um, from all the entries from the seasonal alongs. And there are ways to earn bonus entries. So all the details are in the show notes. GGKCS.com. As well as in the Facebook group. Okay. Lots of reading this week, you guys. Lots of it audiobook. Um, okay, so the nonfiction book that I'm trying to get finished before tomorrow um, is called Fierce, Free, and Full of Fire, The Guide to Being Glorious You by Jen Hatmaker. Um, she talks about at various points throughout it about what happened when she and her family went public about their uh, change in uh, beliefs around the LGBTQ plus community and coming out as affirming um, and what that did to her not only career wise like a book that she had written was immediately pulled off the shelf and uh, the publisher made it out of print and um, because of them doing this uh, but also you know not, you know in their she's a podcaster uh, she and her husband started a church together but just how it in impacted um, their lives when they, for them making this stand um, there's other things woven through it but um, that's been interesting to read um, so fingers crossed I'll have it done by tomorrow I am continuing to reread book five in the Harry Potter series, The Order of the Phoenix, along with the Harry Potter and the Sacred Text podcast and Swish and Flick and All Potter podcast. This week's uh, chapter was The Eye of the Snake. Uh, this is the one where Harry um, thinks that he's injured uh, Mr. Weasley in the dream. Author. Um, I am listening to, well, I finished listening to book four in the Guild Codex Spellbound series by Annette Marie. That was Demon, Magic, and a Martini. And then I'm listening to them in the suggested order because there's a couple series that are, like, interwoven. Um, so I listened to book one of the Guild Codex Demonized series called Taming Demons for Beginners. And you get the gist of it by the title. It's, it's a supernatural, all that stuff. I finished reading The Elegance of the Hedgehog by Muriel Barbary, uh, which I read as for my final book for the Modern Mrs. Darcy uh, challenge, 2020 challenge. Uh, I needed a book in translation. I got through about half of the book and was like, if I was not reading this for a prompt, I would stop. And then the second half of the book was amazing. So, um, yeah, it was good. I mean, it wasn't like, oh my gosh, the best I've ever read, but the second half of it made up for the first half of it. Um, it's about a uh, people living in a apartment building in France and things that happen and such. Um, I finished reading book number 23 of the Cat Who Dot 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 series by Lillian Jackson Braun, The Cat Who Smelled a Rat. Um, this is a mystery series with a, a journalist with two cats and one of them solves mysteries. So, I started reading the Wayfarers series by Becky Chambers. I read... Book number one, The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet. And then last night I finished book two, A Closed and Common Orbit. And this is a series set in space. There's AIs, artificial intelligence. Um, I can't remember who suggested this series. I think it may have been uh, Faith, Faithfully Geeky, uh, who has a book tube um, on YouTube, mm -hmm. I think. I think I think you should be writing down recommendations. I write down recommendations in Goodreads. I just don't notate who told me. Most of my book recommendations, though, do come from Faith. So, um, yes. And then I am rereading. Actually, I'm listening to the first time I read it in a uh, as an ebook, but I'm listening to this time 
uh, the Red Rising series by Pierce Brown. Um, I'm re I'm rereading book one, which is Red Rising, um, so that I can carry on with the series because it had been like four years or something since I had read the first book. Um, but I got started rereading these or rereading the first one so, so I can move on with the next. Uh, because of Michelle Bindi Stitchy. She's been talking about that. She's been listening to him and how much she's enjoying them. It's a cast system. Um, they're. And this kid who. Um, I call him a kid because he was. He's young. I mean, like, I want to say like late teen years, but still, that's a kid. Um, witnesses a very traumatic death and he's like in the low 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 part of the cast system and he is made into being someone in the top cast system top of the cast system to try to um wiggle his way into the system and try to see what happens so I am listening to that and then last night I also in my insomnia started because I finished uh, the book the second book in the Wayfarer series I started reading everything I never told you by Celeste Ng, um, who wrote Little Fires Everywhere that I read last week this was I think this book came out before Little Fires Everywhere um, but it's about a family who from the very beginning I mean it says it in the like synopsis or the little teaser thing that their teenage daughter died and I'm only like two chapters in um, and there's a lot of fi family dynamic um, issues and such so like I said though I just started reading that so okay, what we've been watching I'm continuing to watch season three of Zoo um, I think I have maybe like five episodes left, uh, and this is the final season. Um, it's about uh, science and um, animals turn bad, and they try to s save the animals and in uh, and end up causing sterility in the human race, that whole thing. So that's what I'm watching there. You want to talk about the next thing? Um, we are rewatching season four of Warehouse 13. I think we're halfway through it. Oh, more than half. I think we have maybe like three or four episodes left of the season. So we'll, we'll finish it, rewatching it, no problem, mm -hmm. before you go back to school. So. We can use Bing. Oh, this Prius has a nice GPS system. <laughs> There's lots of product placement in the show. Um, okay, we're rewatching season four of Psych. It's funny. It makes me laugh. Um, yeah. Um, okay. Um, we watched the series finale of Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I'm like... I was more emotional than I expected to be. I wasn't sure how they were going to finish it out, but... It was very good. Very, very good. Um... I love that they got... Daisy and Seussa together. Mm -hmm. I wasn't sure. And I'm just gonna put this man from the forties into space. Yeah, I watch I, him go. I wasn't sure. I was like, when they first started playing with that, I was like, I don't know, I don't know, but I love it. I love it. And oh, yeah. okay, I'm watching uh, the final season, season seven of the hundred. I'm, I'm just at, at this point. I think I'm just ready for it to be over. <laughs> Uh, it feels like the entire season has just been a repeat of ev the same stuff every episode. Um, How many more episodes do you have? Um, well, I have an episode to watch uh, today, later after we get the podcast done. Let's see. Let's see if it says on the Wikipedia, which is my um, secondary BFF to IMDb. Um... Okay, let's see. Episodes. Season what are you seven. Doing? There's se it says that there's 16 episodes for season seven, and I need to watch episode 12 today. And then it looks like it might be going on hiatus. What? <coughs> I'm wondering if they didn't get to finish filming it mm. because of the pandemic. 
because like I know they've announced Supernatural's coming back to finish out the last few seasons and they're back filming the rest of it that they didn't get to finish filming because of the pandemic for the, for the final season. Right now? Yeah, they've just started back. There was a there was a picture like well Murdoch Mysteries is is started filming as well. Right now? Yeah. They're all wearing masks and everybody's got to be tested and social distance and yeah. So I know for sure those two shows, uh, those two shows, uh, Supernatural and Murdoch Mysteries have started filming again. I'm sure there's others. Um, so yeah, so I've got the episode to watch today and then those, there's four more episodes. Um, yeah. So there's that. And then we're watching season four of Winona Earp, which is just a, um, you're getting a spam phone call. Um, they are just like jumping the shark right and left and breaking the fourth wall and yeah yeah okay and then listening to of course I'm listening to my favorite murder podcast because I am a murderino and um yeah um, I'm listening to David Tennant does a podcast with dot dot dot. This week it was what I said her name was Stacy Abrams. Stacy Abrams, um, who um, is um, an activist and in politics and um, was unfairly beaten out of a political race because of voter suppression mm -hmm. so has created an organization to try to assist with that um there was talk that she was being looked at to be but uh, she was i don't know if she was vetted but there was there was talk of that she might end up, end up being the vp nomination she wasn't but um yeah but um it cracked me up because she and her family are huge whovians um, and like, there was something that she watched with her siblings growing up and she told her sisters that she was going to be on David Tennant's podcast and they didn't believe her. It was very funny. Um, but it was a really interesting episode. So I enjoyed that. Um, listening to the Evolving Faith podcast, which I highly, highly recommend. Uh, this week they had Pete, I think it's N's is how you pronounce it. I think it's E-E-N-S. Ends, I believe, who's a biblical scholar, but has this hysterical dry wit, and um, uh, yeah, really enjoyed it. Random Spotify playlists, Captain Pressure, Spotify. Yeah. Alrighty. Well, I think that is everything for this segment. So let's move on to the next one. And now we're going to talk about the June, July, August. Summertime and the living is easy. Ow. So this is an along that started on the 1st of June and it runs through the 31st of August. And it's for any project that you knit, crochet, weave, spin, stitch, or sew that you can convince us is related to summer. Um, this along and future alongs are now hosted in our Facebook group, Not Ravelry, at facebook.com slash groups slash ggkcs. And there are the answers in the first segment if you don't know our cat's name and you don't know which of us is the mother and which is older. I'm not calling you old, I'm just saying you're older than me. Old. Well, you called yourself old earlier because you said you had old eyes. I do have old eyes. I can feel my eyes going the same way. Um, thanks. Uh, well, um... I didn't know this until while we were in Scotland. Ocular degeneration is very common as fibromyalgia progresses. Thanks. So there are a couple main rules for this, Al. The first is that no whips are allowed. Your project must have been begun no earlier than the 1st of June, then finished no later than the 31st of August. And each project that you knit, crochet, weave, or spin must be at least 20 yards. If your project is not at least 20 yards, you need to group it in a single comment, and thus in a single photo, in our Facebook FO thread. And that will count as one entry. In comments, you can only insert one photo. So please, one 
photo per project or per grouping of projects for 20 yards. Yes. Um, you can, for, oh, for stitching and sewing projects, we'll leave it up to your best judgment if it's big enough or not. Um, and as you are posting your projects in the FO thread, I am commenting with an entry number. If I miss one, if, if it's been 12, 18, 24 hours and I've missed one, um, will you like comment on it and, and tag me or whatever? Because I, I probably just accidentally overlooked it. I, nothing purposeful. You can feel free to poly dip in other longs as long as it fits in with the other rules. That's totally fine. We have lots of wonderful prizes on our screen right now. Thank you so much to our donors. If you want to get a closer look at these project pri prizes, closer look at these prizes, you can tune in to the first podcast of September when we give them away, or you can go to our show notes, ggkcs.com. If you're interested in donating a prize for a future owl, you can email us at ggkcspodcast at gmail.com. Yes, we will be um, announcing prizes for the autumnal owl next in next week's episode um, because that'll be the because it'll be have been we'll announce it next week because by the podcast after that it'll have started. So if you would like to donate an autumnal prize, you need to get in touch with us as soon as possible. Um, as we said before, you have to be a member of the GGKCS group on Facebook in order to participate. If you want to post on social media, the hashtag is GGKCS Summertime 20. Our FO thread on Facebook will be locked for comments on the morning of 1st of September, and winners will be drawn for the next podcast after that. And any winners have 30 days to claim their prize or they forfeit it. There's also a chatter thread in the Facebook group where you can comment your progress or ask for excuse me, advice um, on like what yarn to use or anything. I don't tag people there when they finish projects, but I give you first name shout outs here. So we have Alex, Britt, Linda, Lisa, Sarah, and Silver. Great job, everybody. So you have 11 days to finish your projects. 10 by the time this goes live. Uh, if you watch it on the day it goes live. So get those projects finished and start thinking ahead to what your autumnal projects might be. Um, Let's move on to the next segment. And now it's time for Ask the Geeks, the part of our show where you ask us things and we try to answer them. What is this week's question, Barry? This week's question is from Janie, who says, When we are allowed to travel again, where would you choose to travel to? Reasonably and also with completely no expense or limitations. So she's asking if, when we can travel again, where would you go regardless of time limitations or monetary limitations? But also the reasonable one. But reasonable. You go first. Uh, well, like I talked about in Yummies, Prince Edward Island is like my dream vacation that I've always wanted to go to and I will go to before I die. So that, um, I would love to go back to Scotland as well as in England. My bestie lives in England now. Um, yeah, I talked about actually in my stitch with me this week, um, the, one of the prompts was about like a trip that you could take in a day, like you could be able to get there and back. And I talked about that. We, we want to go to Portland at some point mm. and go to like pals and that's the closest cracker barrel. I was like, what is pals? Pal goals. Yeah. So I said pals. This is a new hill heel. Um, you heard it here first. Crown. That's what you color with. Powell's, the bookstore. Um, as well as there's some other things. Isn't there a... Voodoo donuts! I was about to say, isn't there a donut? That's what I couldn't think of on the stitch with me. Um, I like donuts. Um, I would also like to travel to some uh, of the like island stuff around here, like Vashon. Vashon. Um... This is the episode where Dammy corrects my pronunciation of everything. They do that anyway. <laughs> Even when we're not recording. Um, what about you? I have named more than one thing. Um, I also would like to go to Scotland again. Um, uh, Edinburgh. Um, but also we didn't go into like the Highlands or anything. Mm -mm. Really oh, Shetland. I would love to go to Shetland Islands. We didn't go to either part of Ireland. Either. 
Yeah. We did way we went to Wales and England and some Scotland stuff. Yeah. Um I'd like to go to Florence. I'd like to go to Paris. What Those about aren't in the same country, but okay. No, but in the same region. What about uh reasonable? Um to see Halley again. That's reasonable because we're in the same country. Yeah. What about Pacific Northwest? Portland. Um. Sure. Yep. That was a good question. One of these days we'll be able to travel again. Um. Thank you so much for asking, Janie. Oh, this is where I had to cut it because it got in an awful knot. Mm -hmm. Um, thanks so much for the question, Janie. Um, if you'd like to answer the question, you can do that in the YouTube comments or in the, um... Episode thread in... The Facebook group. You have scissors. Yes, but that would mean me having to get them out. Um, Dammy, if somebody has a question for us, what should they do? Um, you can post it in the YouTube comments or post it in our Ask the Geeks thread in the Facebook group. That's right. We answer them in the order they come in, unless there's a time-sensitive one. And there has not yet been a question we've not been willing to answer. So, ask away. Um, all right, let's move on to the next segment. Yay! Made it to the end of the show. Um, I don't think we have any announcements. Other than join the Facebook group. Um... A, so let's just talk, do our normal stuff. A big thank you. We love you guys. Yeah. To everybody who supports the podcast, no matter how it is you do it, um, we're just grateful for y'all. We wouldn't be doing the podcast if it wasn't for y'all. Um, but a big thank you to those of you who support us financially because there are costs associated with doing the podcast. Uh, there are four ways you can support the podcast financially. First is Patreon, which is a site where you pledge a certain amount a month to your favorite creatives. And you earn rewards based on the level you donate at. Um, Dammy, if somebody wants to know more about Patreon or wants to sign up, where should they go? Patreon.com slash GGKCS. What's another way? There's a PayPal button in the sidebar of our website if you'd like to make a one-time donation. We are bookshop.org affiliates. Each week we create a list on Bookshop of all the books that we talk about in that week's episode. Bookshop is an online bookstore with a mission to financially support local independent bookstores. If you purchase a book from our list, we earn a commission and local independent bookstores also earn money from your purchase. Um, our shop is at bookshop.org slash shop slash ggkcs. We are also amazon.com.co.uk and .ca affiliates. If you're going to shop on Amazon, if you go to our site first, click on the appropriate link in the sidebar or in the bottom of the show notes. Uh, do your shopping as normal. We will earn a little money back based on what you purchase. It doesn't cost you anything extra, and it's a great way to support the podcast by doing something you would be doing anyway. Mm -hmm. All right, Dammy, uh, where can they find us online? You can find us at ggkcs.com. There, there are links to everywhere else we are online. Um, our Facebook group, Ravelry. Facebook group. What I was trying to say was Apple Podcasts. When I said Ravelry. Apple Podcasts. Google Podcasts. Um, I was actually going to say, if anybody is familiar with getting a show on Google Podcasts, I am having major technical issues making it happen. If anybody has any expertise uh, in that, would you reach out to me and uh, let's see if we can get us up on Google Podcasts as well? Uh, Instagram, Twitter, and etc. That's right. Well, with that, we're going to tell you goodbye. We hope you have a great weekend and week ahead. Uh, stay safe, stay healthy, wear your masks, drink your water, stay cool, and happy crafting until we see you again. Talk to you soon. Somebody is sound asleep on the arm of the couch, but can you see? She has her paws like hanging off her arm, her front legs like hanging off. She must think she's super kitty. Super kitty to the rescue.
able to leap tall buildings in a single bound. Mama, why you wake me up? Why you interrupt my nap? I was being super kitty. <laughs>